Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Sony's new Tablet S. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Tablet S's universal remote capabilities. Now, it's an interesting new feature with the Tablet S, building on Sony's legacy as a consumer electronics manufacturer. They have a lot of other devices in this space, and a lot of them use infrared to be controlled. With the built-in infrared sensor and transmitter on the Tablet S, it actually is able to control these other devices. Now what you have to do, of course, is just enter those other devices into the Tablet S's remote control software, and then you can actually control them from the Tablet S. Now, as you'd expect, Sony does give preference to its own CE devices when you're doing the setup, but you can still use the Tablet S's remote for other manufacturers' devices. To get started, click on the remote icon in the top left, or from the apps menu. Choose easy registration if you want to pick your device from a list, and then click Next. First, you're going to choose the category of the device. There are a few types, both old and new, including VCRs, DVD, Blu-ray, stereos, network players, projectors, and more. In this case, we're going to stick with the TV. Next, you're going to choose the manufacturer. Sony's at the top, but all the others are there in alphabetical order underneath. We're going to choose Sharp for the TV because we have one right behind us here. After you've chosen your TV, hit Next. In this case, it says we have multiple remote types for this manufacturer and to try them all to see if they work. In our case, Type 1 remote is OK, so we're going to click Next. The app also features something called Gesture Mode, which allows you to use your finger to swipe across the screen or tap on the screen to activate commands that you're going to use regularly. You can set them up here and choose the particular items you want to use in Gesture Mode, and then tap Next. You can change the icon that appears with this particular device if you like. You can do a test of the remote if you're not sure that it's going to work the way you want it to. You can cancel completely, or you can go back from the screen if you want to adjust anything. When you're done, tap Finish, and then your new device should appear on the main remote screen. Now, of course, everyone has more than one device in their home theater setup, so you'll probably want to add another device. To do that, tap the Register Device button from the main screen, which is marked with a plus sign. You can go through this process again using Easy Registration if you prefer. But if your device isn't included or you want to customize, you can use the other option. This item will require your usual remote control for the device you're about to program here. Tap on Learn from Remote Control to proceed, and then hit Next. Choose the category of the device, and then click Next. You'll see all the buttons here are grayed out, so you're going to tap on one of them to assign it a command. Place the other remote control next to the tablet as shown in the diagram on the screen. Press Start to start recording the infrared code from your remote control, and then press the button on the remote itself. It'll ask you to do it again if it wasn't able to get the remote code, but if it did, it'll say that it's learned it. You'll repeat this process for all the buttons that you do want to add. Now, it'll probably help to do this on a flat desktop to prevent other things from interfering with the remote signal, like, say, your pant leg if you're trying to do it in your lap. Now, on blank buttons or a few of the other ones with text on them, you can enter a custom button label if the one you want isn't there already. When you tap on the button, it'll give you the option to enter custom information. You can type it in on the keyboard below. Once you're done, you'll hit Next. Again, choose the gesture commands you want to use in your gesture screen, and then click Next, and then Finish. Now you notice on the main screen with all the devices, you see a power button above each device. You can actually tap on this power button to turn the device on or off without actually entering the remote for that device. If you do want to go into the full remote, just tap on the device on that main screen. All of your buttons will appear on your Tablet S screen, but you can switch between the full remote and the gesture pad here if you just want to use gestures instead of buttons. You can also tap at the top left to switch between your different devices without having to go back to the main screen. That's a quick look at using the remote control on the Sony Tablet S. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series for more ways you can interact with your Tablet S. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at Butterscotch.com.